Part 2. Azure Moon. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Wait, that sounds like Battle of the Eagle and Lion, except now things are dead. Now in control of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Kingdom Army begins to invade Imperial territory. In response, the Imperial Army garrisons soldiers at Fort Mercius. Okay, soldiers, soldiers at first mercy, Fort Mercy, so I can do that. I can't really explain it since I haven't looked at any material of it for a while, but inadvertently way, it seems a bit in the side of modern indulgent otaku anime. I don't really agree, but I haven't seen much in the way of modern otaku anime. It just looks like big and rambunctious and chaotic, and it looks like... It, it looks like a lot of Xenoblade, and that's huge for me, so I'm, I'm all in on that. <laughs> Curious to know how Dido is going! Yes! Oh, my beautiful fortress boy! You've been away for so long! <laughs> Straight back to the garden. Here for the flowers again? No, I'm here for you! <laughs> you might as well have a look while you are here. What do you mean here for the flowers again? You've been gone for like, god... I mean, I haven't seen you in five plus years, and then we got back everybody else, and Dimitri told me you were dead, and... Ah, you just, you're so, ah, show some emotion to do, for once! <laughs> I have two things to say. First, I thank you for supporting His Highness in my absence. Okay, I, I, I gotcha. But I must also admonish you for taking your own well-being too lightly. Yeah, you're the one who's all scarred up, man. <laughs> On several occasions, I have seen you protect others by putting yourself in harm's way. I am grateful for your efforts, but I feel you should place a higher value on your own life. But you don't understand, I have time rewind powers. <laughs> His Highness relies on you, as do I. Oh. Dudu is the best flower. I understand. Then show that with your actions. We cannot afford to lose an invaluable asset like you. And... And... This greenhouse would be a more lonely place without you in it. No. Oh. It would not be fair to the flowers <laughs> to leave me their only caretaker. Right, for the best interests interest of the flowers, I have to be here with Dudu so that we can take care of our babies, the flowers. <laughs> That's what it is. Someday, I hope to show you a whole landscape of these flowers in full bloom. You mean, you mean Dusker? Yes. Once this conflict is over, and His Highness ascends the throne, I believe it can be done. You must live at least until then. Understood? You do! You don't go dying on me a third time! <laughs> same, same to you! That's true enough. I had not thought much of my own life until now, except that I would gladly cast it aside for His Highness. That is still true. But now I desire to see the end of this war. Until I can show you the fields of Dusker and Bloom, I will go on living. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> it's just about flowers. It's just about the flowers. About his flowers and my flowers. You know how flowers, they like, they like to diddle their dangly bits together to reproduce. It's all about flowers. <laughs> Dudu is one of those characters that surprised me the most of expectations. I know, ugh, I, look, I like him. I'm so happy he's back. Like, so surprisingly happy he's back. We have he's received back. a report from our spy. So, flowers? The flowers. It's all about the flowers, you guys. Sweet, delicious, delectable, beautiful, salacious flowers. Kind of lag there on my end. Um... Back to your astral chain, it reminds me of Ghost in the Shell type anime, trying too hard, but maybe that's just me looking at the glorification of violence, violence in the state. That's too much in depth for a Twitch comment. It's not too much in depth for a Twitch comment, but we're definitely in Fire Emblem land here, not into analyzing astral chain, which is not out yet.
Does Deduce fake out death count as his first life? No, he already lost his first life to the Death Knight. So that was his second, but it was a story thing, so it doesn't count. So Deduce gets three. I'm honestly surprised he came back. I was beginning to think it wouldn't happen, but I held out hope I, because you know, honestly, he I had thought they were gonna... an S rank. He had an S rank, so I was convinced it was going to happen. But at the same time, Xenoblade 2 is my favorite game of all time, and they pull a character death in that that had plenty of UI uh, advancements to their name that they were never going to see. Ugh. <laughs> I assume you don't want me to mention the yeah, name. Yeah, you know, I, I've, I've done it all to death here, but in case people want to oh, no, play no, no. it later. I played, yeah. through, I played through it, but I'm not going to say it just because I don't want to spoil it. That's what I mean. I've played it to yeah. death, but that was a year, two years ago. If there's I'm people here who haven't didn't... seen it since then, I want mm -hmm. to not spoil it for them. Yeah, honestly, I thought they were going to pull a birthright on us with uh, Didu. All right, report from our spy. It would seem the Empire is gathering troops at Fort Mercius. This is undoubtedly in response to us taking the Great Bridge of Murden. Their numbers are more than double ours. We believe that the Emperor herself may be leading them. Don't tell that to Dimitri. <gasps> uh, you're, get, you're, getting, you're, you're giving him a hate boner. If House Regan can reconcile with House Gloucester sooner than later, then Claude can proceed with his plan to rally the Alliance Lords, gather troops, and invade Empire territory. At this rate, three military forces will be clashing at Grander Field. Oh, I get why it's called this now. It is a parallel to the Battle of Eagle and Lion. Just like the Battle of Eagle and Lion. If you wish to indulge in the stalk, oh. do it elsewhere. Oh, that's actually... That's actually a really nice touch. Sorry. I'm afraid the difference in military strength is far from negligible. While we are elite soldiers, I am still uneasy about this. If possible, I'd like to request reinforcements right away. If we can rely on any of the major kingdom houses for military support, it would be House Karen, I'd wager. Why Karen? House Karen has yet to declare fealty to the Empire. Hmm. It is also my home. Mm, right, I keep forgetting Catherine. Catherine is from Fargus too. I will make the request to my father. With things as they are, I don't think he can refuse. The church has long protected me. I am certain that any request from the church will be answered to the utmost of their ability. Very well. We're counting on you, Catherine. I suppose that is all we can do for now. So it would seem. Though, if there are any other avenues worth exploring, I would suggest... Allying with the Alliance? Ah, good point. We have no reason to engage the Alliance directly. Even if we do receive Count Karen's aid, we still won't have the troops we need to face the Empire. But if we join forces with the Alliance, then our numbers will rival the Empire's. Let's maybe let's um let's let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. If we wait too long, we'll lose the advantage. For now, let's send a messenger and try to figure out what the alliance hopes to achieve. All right, that that's fair. It's hard to believe this decisive battle will take place at Grander Field. I imagine that place is full of memories for all of you. Our feast after the battle. I remember it well. We all had so much fun together. No. Please, stop it. I had finally put all of that out of my mind. This isn't right. They're our friends. We used to study together. We shouldn't be fighting them. It's... It's war, Annette. <laughs> yes, yeah, this, this makes... Why not this march happens. up to Her Majesty and remind her of that? Oh, that's right. Because you want to live to see tomorrow. No matter who the enemy is, I will fight for His Highness. Tell me, Boar Prince. Do we stand a chance? Who knows? If we lose, we'll have died for you. I hope you know that. <laughs> Just sit and stew for a minute, man. That's enough, Felix. We must focus on the battle ahead. Make your peace before we depart. It's kill or be killed out there. We will cross blades with the Empire. But it's possible we will also have to strike down the Alliance. Your Highness, 
Do you feel no hesitation about killing your former friends? I'm used to killing familiar faces by now. Don't smirk like that. No, you had you had bad you had badness after the last battle. I like that. I liked it when you hesitated. Yeah, so just a reminder, whenever there's cutscenes on, I'm gonna tell people to shush, because I can respond in between chat, in between their text lines, but nobody else has the timing for that. So that's all negative. Yeah, understood. All right, new week, new problems. Um, trailer, trailer impressions give no real bearing on true value. Yep. The dudes escape not only the death knight, but just plain old death. <laughs> right before the time skipped in, you have an option of three students to meet. One with Sylvain. I think it was Sylvain, Felix, and Dedu. Yeah, and there was some there was some mockery. I ended up talking to Sylvain, but all of the options were like turn him down, and I didn't want Sylvain anyway, so I just let him let him run. Seeing an naked sad break my heart. I know, she's, she's, without mercy here, she's the one who's like, ah, uh, this sweet little rosebud. I don't know about anyone else, but I really don't like Rodrigue. I like him, he's fine. He's not a favorite. He's not like really bought on to me the way that Gilbert has, but he seems like an all right stand-up fella. He's like just a, just a solid military unit to have on hand. Two days of rare monsters, right? But I probably don't want either of them, honestly, because I don't much care. Forgotten Hero, which is still Marianne. That's that's it. It's just paralogues for Marianne this month. Rare monster sighting, lots of large fish. Could be your chance for big catch. Spice festival, featuring a fine selection of rare eastern spices. And Head Chef's Challenge. The Head Chef's Mysterious Specialty has been prepared for you. Effects are enhanced for those enjoying their favorite meal. I mean, it's it's just a pretty basic month for me. I don't really have need of doing those other ones, but I'll go out and if there's battles to do, like if I can fill up three battles with stuff to do, then I'll grab Marianne's Paralogue, I suppose. Rodrigue is reasonable. He works in the story. I just disagree with him. Gotcha. There is not a not a do paralog. I think I did that before the time skip, and if there's a second one, I don't see it here. The do's paralog is where we got the legendary Dusker Heavy Soldiers. Anyway, for now, it seems like an exploration is the best bet because that's where we'll pick up any of those extra quests that we might get. There's also a black magic tournament with a magic staff. So I could maybe throw in Kublis at that, or I could throw in Felix, or Annette, or Flame. There's a lot of people I could throw at that. Let's check certifications, why not? Right, since uh, Dimitri, I think, can just go ahead and uh, he's, he's mastered his High Lord class. Or, I mean, yeah, he's done Noble, he's done High Lord. Now I want him to do Great Lord. Well, there's something you should do is check and see what the do's at now. This will do. He's not yet maxed out his uh, Fortress Knight. He's very, very close. I, like five experience away. I wanted him to do that last time in the last match, but then I forgot to unequip him and he killed Ferdinand. Wow, mm -hmm. Fortress Knight gets Lance bonus. I wouldn't have expected that. Oh, <laughs> but um, uh, uh, Leone. Leone has mastered Armor Knight, so I can stick her on Fortress Knight now. Noise. So let me see about this. Certifications. Leone. Since she's not yet got a great chance of becoming a great knight, it's a 30%. And I'd rather she just work her way through Fortress Knight for safety, like working up her axe and heavy armor, rather than toss her at a 30% great knight chance. She's got a 78% chance of this because of uh, her axe skill isn't yet the whole way, but that's that's good odds. Come on. Come on, Leone. Come on, put on the armor. Put it on. Yes. Big beefy girl. Ooh, ooh. All that hard work's paid off. Okay, um... I have to admit, Leone's armor looks really good. Yeah, she looks good in heavy armor. 
The she yellow rocks. definitely helps. She rocks it well. Gilbert still hasn't mastered Fortress Knight either, but I think I already got him to... He already passed the Great Knight, so... He's just kind of... He's also got five experience left in Fortress Knight. God, two guys that are so close to wrapping up that class. Hand Dog could be a Warlock. He's, in fact, he's got the... He would guarantee pass Warlock, so maybe I should just make him take Warlock. <laughs> For the sake of it, just have him be there. If you want class tyranny, you can still get it as an adjutant. I did not know that. Okay, thank you, Mithril. I wish you could do some class training during oh. exploration periods for some students. Yeah, a little bit would be nice. Blaine is still working on Grammarie. She's fine. Sedith is uh, not using him. Petra has um, mastered Wyvern uh, Knight. Right, so she needs to be reclassed up. To Wyvern Lord. Good. This is a way to get more power. Um certifications. Petra's good. Ingrid is already on her top level. In fact, yeah, she's she's not got a lot of experience in it, but I guess I haven't used her all that much, to be fair. She's kind of like one of my leading units. Um, Annette still rocking her way through Warlock. How far off is she? She's 23 experience away from mastering it. Once she's done that, she's already passed the uh, Dark Knight certification, and she's at 50% for Grimmery. If she uses a little bit more faith, I could even put her towards that, too. Ooh. Sylvain could pass all kinds of stuff, but I don't care. Felix is working on his. The do. Has a 48% chance of passing War Master. <laughs> that regal ass cape. Mmm, it looks good. He still needs to work on both his axes and brawling skills, so it's all about weaponry for him now, but he's he's close. And then Dimitri, how far off are you? You've still only got a 28% chance of passing Wyvern, Lord. So I guess it's okay you're passing through one more class. But you're gonna have to work on your axes, and I need to make sure that you study flying while you're in there. Keep hearing little little sounds from the computer. I'm wondering what it is. Okay, so all of that's pre pretty good for now. I think there's there's no need to necessarily toss out. I guess I have one master seal. It might be worth trying one person for for a higher rank test right now, since I think I can get cheap master seals anyway with the online. And of the people that I have, the only one who needs a master class, I think, is Dudu. All right, everyone's got a master class ready. They just, they're just currently getting training on the others. I think so. I'll toss him at it. If if he can pass the class, he might get a bunch of uh, extra stat points for it. It's a forty-eight. That's like a crit plus twenty. Oh yeah, War Master is insane. And he gets plus five damage to both of his weapons. And then crit plus 20. True Blade Jacket is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Hector's epic cape is good too. What's the True Blade? Do you mean Sword Master or what? You mean Mortal Savant? Like Lady Mortal Savant? I don't think True Blade is a thing in this game. How, oh, okay, never mind. Garlic's asking. Garland's asking. I started. I called you Garlic. Garland is asking a question. How do you know if someone is classed up as a Fire Emblem game? Give them a cape or a jacket. I still think the best sweet jacket goes to Edward from FE10. Edward was alright. He wasn't the best. 
Hector's epic cape does rock. Yeah. Did you fail the Great Knight Surf for me four times in a row with like 65%? <laughs> Ow, jeep. Sheesh, that's like... Ugh. And here's the thing. If he passes Warmaster right now, I can shift all of his studies over towards Great Knight so that he could he could do both of them. That said, like... th th he's he has the axes and heavy armor, but he has zero riding, and he would need that at B+. Plus. <laughs> come on, DD do Come on, come on. Oh, can't figure out how to put on a cape right now. <laughs> It's all right. I fail. I have faith in you. You'll get it next time. I'm. He's too, no, I feel like he's too used to wearing heavy armor that it's just like I have. Can't, I can't take it off. Just... I feel naked. <laughs> but you, but, but then you become like stupid powerful. It's like wearing weighted training clothes in Dragon Ball. Um. All right. So let's do. Uh, well, here certifications. I'll I'll upgrade Hanny, Hanny boy, since I can. He's got a 100% chance for it. There's no point in not. It's really just for him. It feels like some units are naturally supposed to peak at advanced. I can see that. Of course I passed. I am a scholar. Five speed and four defense. That's a big improvement for Haney Boy. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that you're right. There are some units that are supposed to just cap out at advanced. But I think the reasoning behind that is because the advanced classes, from what I've seen, tend to get a combat art as their mastery. At least that was the case with Shamir, and I'm pretty sure it's the case for Catherine, too, because they get, uh, they get the Huntress shot and they get Astra. And that goes away if you change classes. So, if you want to maintain access to this really freaking powerful, like, can end bosses type of move, you have to leave them in advanced class. Anyway, do some exploring. Head to battle to protect the trade route, gather the requested resources, blah, 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 blah. Tea of the Saints. I feel like there could be so many more class options that could exist. Why not have a weapon master that gets a boost to all weapon types, but limited to foot soldier status? Yeah, no, they, they definitely could have done a little bit more with the classes. There are so many to pull from. I think they wanted to limit themselves a little bit so that things didn't get too crazy out of hand. Even as it is, it's like there's only so many slots you can take into a battle, and it feels like if there were some that you just could not have, Aww. it might be like, I guess if they gave you enough that you couldn't possibly have them all, that would force you to kind of pick and choose. And just be content with what you end up with. Why am I still going into the students' rooms? It's just force of habit. So, the campaign continues, does it? Well, allow me, as a professional recluse with 10 years of experience, to volunteer for... Um, <laughs> to be fair, you did fall, oh, you did fall into a, like a five... <laughs> oh, no, wait. God damn it, Bernie. I'm... Uh, I have the emote in. It's awaiting approval. <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? The fighting won't stop until we've defeated Edelgard, will it? Or until we lose, I guess. But there's not much use in thinking about there's that. There's not. Please don't think about losing, Bernie. That's bad for everybody. The minute you think about losing, you already lost. Well, she always thinks about losing. I think that's why she wants to stay behind, so that she just doesn't have to <laughs> see it play out. Specialist advanced classes get combat arts, general ones get skills, but I don't know more than like four classes there. Yeah, it seems like that's that's the way it goes in this. Hello. Fates had way too many classes and most of them I never bothered with. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. At oh, least three yeah. houses makes them each feel interesting. Yeah, and the sad part is only like three of them were meta. I fucking hate meta. 
The battle of the eagle and lion. Has it truly been five years since then? Can you recall? Like, how do I explain this? If you want to do like the uh, class, like the multiplayer related stuff, where like you're, uh, it was where you're attacking the lion. That is not at all the case, oh, Professor. Sorry. Your memory serves you poorly. It was shortly after I joined your class. I remember it like it was. Oh yesterday. God damn it! I mistook the words. I thought you were saying whether you joined before the battle or not. She was asking whether the battle was after or before she joined. Fuck! I got it backwards. <laughs> okay, what were you saying? It's like the problem with I, the problem that I had with fates is that um. So you know how like uh, there was the mechanic where uh, through like street pass and spot pass and junk like that you could uh, challenge other people's kingdoms. Right. Um, the idea is that if you didn't have a witch, you were screwed. What even is a witch? I didn't. I never it saw was a, one of those. It was a DLC class. I just don't like meta. Uh, I still need a Xanado fruit. Where the hell am I gonna get one of those? Caledonian Gar, whatever the hell that is. Hi there. Guess I'll check the merchants real quick. Hello. I only invested in certain classes for their skills. Basara sucked way harder than Amiyoji or Spearmaster, but Ren, Heaven, and Quixotic were insanely good. I, yeah, I don't, just, I just didn't like the way the DS games did it. Hard pass. Shamir, why are you standing directly in front of the doors? That's an odd place for you. Reconnaissance is becoming more of a risk the deeper we move into enemy territory. If I don't come back, assume I'm dead. Hey, you think she'd be just like hanging around uh, like in like a quiet hallway? You won't get caught. I'm glad you think so highly of me, but we have to be realistic. Don't waste your energy worrying about me. I have all my all of my worry energy goes to exactly two people, Shamir. And until now, one of them has been gone. <laughs> Is your chair squeaking? Yeah, sorry. I, I can hear it. Welcome. Sorry, I'll, I won't, I'll try my best not to recline. Thanks. Um, all right, what do you have here? Yeah, just as I say that. <laughs> Indian berries. Do you guys oh, have those fruits? Fuck, I want those fruits. This one, yes. This one, yes. Now I'm just buying I the bait out of one, habit. Yes. There's like no I need for me one, to yes. have all this bait. I think this one, yes. I this one, yes. I think. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. No. Nope. Come again. Hey, welcome. And I don't think he sells the seeds for them either. Forage. You have a good eye. Sure, get some of those. Pleasure doing business with you. Mix seeds, mix seeds, mix seeds. Foraged, and then it's just you a bunch have of a good like, eye. flowers. A you have a good eye. You have a good eye. You have a good eye. A pleasure to come again. Welcome. You also won't have fruits. Hmm. Okay. Well. Um. I the last Is that time I got phone? HP, you heard my yeah. You heard my phone beep. Um, so I've got a, I think I got a defense plus two, and then I bought an HP plus five. A speed wing would be Is handy. So I'll buy one of Thanks those from I Anna this time. Soon. All right, well, what do you require? Refle re refresh my battalions, please. Farewell. Hello there. I'm not gonna worry about buying more until we've had a few more upgrades. Professor. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. How's it going, gatekeeper? I hear we're sending troops to Grander Field next. Is that what's what? That whole area is in the territory of House Burglies. It's famous as the main granary of Foden. Oh. If we could capture it, we probably wouldn't have to worry about food anymore. Bread for all. Sure, you'd just be starving a bunch of other people out of their bread, but it's fine. It's war, right? Is that what you want, gatekeeper? Is that what you want to go to bed tonight, knowing that you've starved many children's families of being able to feed them? Hmm? Hmm? That's on you now, gatekeeper. That's your idea. Bye. 
no. and like and just like that all of our love for the gatekeeper is just gone <laughs> i hardly believe we're crossing the borders of the empire to battle their army never thought i'd see the day you'd never guess from the calm looks on everyone's faces though i mean we're probably all gonna die let's be honest his highness lord rodrigue you there's really something wrong with a lot of you, I swear. This guy is a Debbie Downer. <laughs> Trying to hide beneath your swords, Master Hat. Mm. Honestly, Mithril, I'm surprised at how many of the Thank Master you. Classes are mounted. The Great Bridge of Murden was considerably better fortified than it was five years ago. The bridge was full of soldiers. Like nearly half of them. And they all died. And Ferdy was there. We killed Ferdy, Professor. He used to be our friend. <laughs> Do you remember those days? Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I feel so much worse about it now. <laughs> Think about the specificity of the, what this one line of dialogue suggests. That they have set up so many custom lines based on who you did and did not recruit. <laughs> In any given she... run. I love games that have replay value like that. Oh. <laughs> She's from his house, and I only get this because I recruited her and didn't recruit him. And I here comes the mystery man. I killed Ferdy. This is why I was sad about you killing Ferdy, no, okay? No, fuck him. No. He, he decided to stand on that bridge and face me, damn it. <laughs> It's his fault. I feel bad for Dorothea. I don't feel bad for you guys. Her sad. Yeah, well, she wasn't at the battle, all right? I, I did her a favor by leaving her behind. What about Petra? You didn't leave her behind. Yeah, and Petra didn't really seem to care. <laughs> Say we do manage to take down Edelgard here. What do you think His Highness will do next? As long as there's a plan, I won't complain. I just, you know, want to know there is a plan. I don't know, Sylvain. Continue on to the Imperial Capital, head to the Kingdom Capital first. I know what Dimitri wants to do, I know what I want to do, and I don't know what's actually going to come about. <laughs> Kingdom? <laughs> well, I'd be happy if that were the case, but I don't figure that'll actually happen. All this isn't just going to magically end the moment we kill Edelgard. It's gone too far. I suppose we should focus on the battle right in front of us, instead of what happens later. Oh, well, you've got... You're, you're trying to keep a positive outlook, at least. That's something. The plan is to make sure Dimitri doesn't kill us all. <laughs> That's a pretty good plan right now. Maybe now that Dudu is back, he can rein him in a little bit. <laughs> Ah, ah, to do make us your famous immortality stew. I enjoy cooking. Look at how tall he is now. He was a big boy before. Now he doesn't even fit on the screen. <laughs> oh my god! He really is a big boy. <laughs> you seem to you know, know what you are okay, doing. Okay, you. Okay, the way how you mentioned that maybe Dudu could talk some sense into Dimitri. You know what that reminded me of? Huh. Um. Odeon from the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. I do not know a damn thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! You're gonna have to fill me in. Uh, he was basically the right-hand man for one of the villains, and basically, um, that the villain had an uncontrollable rampage. However, when he was around, he was able to keep that anger sealed. Hmm. So a calming factor, that's it. Professor! Yeah. Professor. Perhaps it is the same way. Maybe he did, Dimitri did seem to be a little bit shaken, and not in a bad way, more like shaken out of his insanity at the end of the last battle. With the, I think it's a combination of Dudu being alive and having to kill people he grew up with. Yeah, because was, was that the first battle where he actually had to fight the students? I think so, yes. Yes, Garland, that's who I was referring to. We could have at least ended Ferdy quickly. Instead, we pinned him down and tortured him as we slaughtered every other enemy on the map. Except for that one monster. 
I really wanted to though. It's not my fault that like Dudu just forgot conveniently to take off his fists. Hey. So uh, weird Help out me. of context. Take off your fists. This is please. this is a weird statement from a man wearing a lot of chains and not a lot of actual clothing. Hey. I could use a hand. Whenever I think about the next battle, my knees won't stop shaking. I'm getting a little think scared of getting hurt or worse. I, is there a medicinal herb I can use to calm my nerves? All right, this is easy renown. I was hoping for a battle quest so that I could justify going out for fights, but he doesn't have one of those. Hey, handy boy. When undertaking research, the usual method is to form a hypothesis, then test it with experiments. Those experiments reveal facts and falsehoods. Yet sometimes, they also unveil an exception. You seem to be that exception when it comes to my crest research. Sorry about that. Worry <laughs> not, Professor. Exceptions are what make my work interesting. Why don't the rules apply to you? I will find out eventually. I feel it is my destiny as a crest scholar. I went around with Thief Felix to steal all the Master Seals the enemy generals had. Rather, mortal Savant Felix was steal from the Thief Clack Mastery. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I figured out today, too, because I was talking, uh... I was talking with a friend of mine who's also doing Blue Lions today at work. And they pointed out... Apparently in Felix's Paralog, it is possible to save everybody. But he's also playing, I think, on normal casual? Not or maybe hard mode casual? I don't know. He's he's not on the same difficulty level as I am. So he saved all of the students and he got a better reward. He got a reward that halves all damage when Felix holds it. <laughs> wow, that makes <laughs> Felix broken. <laughs> make him I'm an well, armor knight. Boom, you're good. You, you don't need to. Why make him an armor knight? You could just you can make him anything and he'll survive. Well, Mithril, when I played through it, it did not look like it was possible to save everybody. That one peasant just ran straight at the exit before I had a chance to get there. Okay. When I when I do another run of this game, I think I'm going to try, try a playstyle that feels a little bit more aggressive. Maybe it won't be a classic, or I, I mean, maybe it won't be a permadeath, or I, I don't know. But like, I feel like I I enjoy the way I play Fire Emblem. I enjoy it immensely, but it is definitely much slower than many people seem to do it. Edelgard's presence suggests that Hubert is around too. He is minister of the Imperial household, after all. He's yeah, that's kind of your charm in a sense, because you just like you I think of everything he must ahead. Be pretty happy with his current position. saved everyone but i think i also had warp at the time you need to play super fast yeah i, I do not play super fast i'm all about right. the slow thinking it through hmm. my units generally survive everything that could possibly get thrown at them you're and, basically the tortoise to the hare yeah and then um then then the game throws something at me that's like you have to move here quickly and then i'm all scramble this isn't how i don't really do things no. it's like you're you're the tortoise and then the game just says fuck you oh. tortoise <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a, I think I'm a little more like the hare, just with, in terms of offense. Remember what happened last time he said about going aggressive? I know that's another thing too. Every time in like Pokemon in this, every time I break my stride and go go balls to the wall with it, I am horribly punished. No, Hollow, that's not it. Don't 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 put words in my mouth. That's not what I said. I didn't say I can't handle using all my characters' movement. I said I do not enjoy going all out and going aggressive because that puts me too far into the enemy's line of fire and then the enemy just gets to hit me with whatever way they want rather than playing the smart bait em out. So, we're finally moving into enemy territory. We can expect the war to get even more intense from here on out. I'm really feeling the tension now. I have almost no experience with battles of this scale, Professor. I'll be grateful for your leadership on the battlefield. I know I can trust you. 
far as Fire Emblem streamers go, I prefer your playstyles compared to the super obnoxious hardcore FE players. I don't know what you mean exactly by that, because there's a lot of ways people could be super obnoxious. But it's more of a that's more of a personality than a playstyle. Alright, what exists over here? What can I pick up for that quest? Chum 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 chum. You. You guys, I don't, I, you, what you're saying does not compute to me. You can't just say, I don't have to worry about the enemy phase if there are no enemies because you, there are always enemies. They will hit you. You have to deal with that first. It's not possible to take out every enemy before they ever get a counter shot on you. <laughs> worry not, Professor. I will. And then we look at people like Dimitri, who can one-shot almost anything. <laughs> okay, got a bunch of stuff. Yay. Another quest done. Lysithia is only one unit. You can't take out five people with one unit. <laughs> As powerful as our knights are, we're outnumbered by a long shot. Well, this is a busted gambit easy. that we don't know about. It's crazy to attempt this. I guess I'm crazy to go along with it. It is going to be tough, Felix. You're right. Uh, the hardcore of this game is only good for these aspects of the meta that I've memorized. No, Mithril, I don't... I don't believe Garland is being obnoxious about that. That is, in my eyes, that is 100% obnoxious as fuck. Like, that's somebody saying that this is this game is only good for these one few things, and if you're not doing these things, you're playing it wrong. Like, no, how about fuck you? I also don't enjoy, in general, people that only play a game for the super high-end meta. Because that's not enjoying the game for the game's sake. That's boiling it down to raw numbers and just letting the numbers play out. That's just making it spreadsheets and math, and I hate that. And that's why I like Heroes of the Storm when it comes to competitive stuff, because no. honestly, in that game, the meta doesn't even matter. Then again, you can say that about every game in general. All right, let's go uh, yeah, hop can... into the... So do, check, check this thing out. Advanced Black Magic Tournament. Um, recommended level is 35 or higher. So anybody I throw in is not going to be at that point. I do have some 33s. If Handyman wasn't only level 21, he'd be a good bet. I got Felix at 33. He's an A. Magic used is Thunder. He's not... I mean, that's just because that's what he knows. So he's not bad at that, but he doesn't have much for resistance. Sylvain is also also knows some magic, but he's just a bad dancer. Annette, and let me check this. Hey, who, who are my options? My best options are Felix, Sylvain, Annette, and Flane. So check the roster. Felix has 22 magic, 15 resistance. 26 speed. Sylvain has 21 magic, 11 resistance, and 30 speed. So Sylvain is faster, but worse in every other way. Annette doesn't have the HP of either of them, but she has 34 magic and 25 resistance. So by far the winner right now. Plus I could give her back her plus 5 HP for this. <clears throat> Compared to Flane. 34 magic, 25 resistance. 34 magic and 33 resistance. Okay, flame. Kind of kicking in that's ass. Flame has a lot of resistance for a magic user. And Annette has 22 speed. 
Flame has 19. She's not much slower Scythia's on kind that. Scythia is in the same boat, honestly, when it comes to resistance oh, on dude, magic. Mercedes would have had like 57 resistance at this point had she been alive. Like, it's not shocking to me. You are right. Flame has more health by four. But I remember I could give Annette back her plus five HP. That would give her more HP. I do have seal magic, but that only s turns on after combat. <clears throat> and combat never ends in the tournament. Renewal is at the start of each turn. That's also outside of combat. I, f I think it's going to be a net, honestly. Lane has reason level three, but Annette has reason level four and magic plus two. And her HP plus five and dexterity plus four, which I could use to like, just give me higher hit and crit chances. She has black tome fair, which also gives her plus five attack when using black magic. I, she's just, <sighs> Flane has more resistance. by eight. That's considerable. But Annette would do more damage. Like a ton more damage. I think I'm gonna try for Annette here and just pray that she can make it through. Let me give her back her HP. I'll trade that out for Rally Resistance since you can't use it here. I'll give you Dexterity instead of Rally Speed, since you can't use either of the rallies, and we'll just run with this. How big of a speed difference? Uh, Annette is faster by, like, three points, I think? Or was it that Flane was faster? It was Annette that was faster. Yeah, Annette's faster by three. Dex effects crits, but IDK about raw hit for magic. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. Seal skills do not affect tournaments. Yeah. Yeah, because seals only trigger after combat. We'll give Annette a shot. Come on, girl. You've got your wonderful wind magic. Make sure it runs its course. Okay, who? I'm going to have to use my restorations. Because that's 14 damage. Ooh, that hurts. That hurts bad. I hit him twice, so he's only gonna hit me one time. Problem is, it's still a pretty big hit. It had to be done. Yeah, but at the same time, it's a fairly low. Okay. Sixty-nine is not a fairly low chance. <laughs> That's high enough to like bank on it hitting. Okay, 100%. That's definitely gonna hit. What's next? You don't say. Okay, so that's good. Next one, I'm not doubling anymore. Ugh. Good news is I have so many exploration points, I could just do this again with Flane if this doesn't work and see how that works. just blessed. I don't know, it, 34 magic is not bad. Like, Annette's pretty able to kill anything she comes across. And nobody's fool. Yeah, Hubert swept through this tournament on my playthrough. Like, I am absolutely killing everything. It's just a matter of she can't tank everything the way most of my tournament matches go. I'm sorry. Now with uh, one more HP restoration. Yeah, I'm doubling. I'll win. to lose. It was super outrageous and also probably grinding you all hell comparing the same level ID. Stat boosting items before the end of the game, that will play a part. Yeah, I don't. I save those stat boosters for the very, very end so that everybody can get juiced up. <laughs> all 
right, good. I did win. Yay! Um, oh. Ryan's net is a bit low for level, but it's still not bad. Using stat boosts early instead of hoarding gives a lot more stats over the course of the game. But I don't like, um, in general, running the chance of uh, wasting points off of level ups. I always hold off on stat boosters so that people can naturally hit their caps, and then I use them on the stats that they haven't capped. That's the way I play. And as usual, as, as with everything else, it helps me avoid the feeling of grinding, which I just hate. In a cast so small, I don't see it as a waste. I see anything as a waste as a waste when there's still a potential for those items to go to somebody who died. Maybe. Like you, you say a small cast. To me, this cast isn't. This cast is huge. This cast is way, way bigger than what I normally maintain as a, as an active army in a fire emblem. That doesn't change what I do with my items. Brave Axe Plus? I feel like it would just be cheating to buy that. Silver Sword Plus? Yeah. Ugh. Master Seal? I'll buy that. Probably. Yeah. Okay, and. Umbral Steel. Why not? Online Liaison, you uh, sent off with a training lance. Let's bring you back. I have made 1,200 in hiring revenue. Her riding went up. I wanted her um, in heavy armor to go up, but okay. Let us choose Didi Do to send off now. I'll send him out with... can't send a killer axe for some reason, but I can send a killer lance? Send you out with this silver bow plus. That'll make me some cash. All right, send you out. Um, all right, let's do the four person recon here. See if I can find you guys. Nobody directly behind. Okay. Where are the boys? I must Ew. find the boys. And girls. Oh. They're both. Got nothing down here so far. Oh. Still, wow, really? This whole stretch had nobody? That's a shock. Getting close. Yep, there's you. Okay, one. Took me half the time to find one. Not a good sign. I guess I can kind of just run around until I get the you're getting close message. What? Hello there. Oh my god. You're there. Hmm. Oh my god. What? Where? Where? <laughs> I ran right by that, Bernie. Can't believe it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I have eight seconds left. And we get it. <laughs> Zero. 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 Zero time remaining. <laughs> Just barely. Okay. Literally a last second catch. Yup, that was that was close. That was a close one. I didn't oh fuck, I never think to take a screenshot. God damn it. I once saw the prince patting the head of an orphan from the monastery. 
Does this mean even that cruel man has some empathy in his heart? Was it just a random whim? Maybe my eyes just tricked me. He used to be a good guy once, Monk. <laughs> I hope you remember that. <laughs> Three houses gives out infinite money like candy. I D K Y. People complain about infinite money, not like you can buy stat boosters. Mitsuru, are you being sarcastic or what? Because that's exactly you can do that. No. I felt the opposite. Like I fell short on cash. I guess I was just playing wrong. If you send somebody out with on the, if you have online turned on and you send somebody out with an expensive item, you, they will bring back fifty thousand gold. Sheesh. <laughs> That explains a lot. I never actually used it. I also, I'm trying to make Game. sure that I don't ever use that 50,000 gold, but I still have never felt short on cash. The fact that you can buy stat boosters at all with how much money they give you is like concerning mithril it's it's not a thing that i enjoy having access to that's why i'm only ever buying one thing per month hey rodrigue mm -hmm. oh it's you professor sorry I, I was a little lost in thought there about all that has happened and all that is to come oh. i'm sure the battles ahead will not be easy but please take good care of his highness i'll do what i can I never used the online thing in my first run, and I still only ran short once, and that was after buying all stat boosters. Okay, so Mithril, I still don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. Because what you just said there is proof that, holy god, they give you way too much money. Hmm. Like, you had enough to never run short, and also you bought a absolute fuckton of, like, manual stat boosters. Each time we press forward, our search for Rhea broadens to a wider area. I certainly hope we will find at least some clue. But I do suspect I already know where she is. If I'm right, then she is in the Imperial Capital. And we cannot save her until we topple the Empire. Oh boy, okay. Sedith is on board for toppling the Empire now. I'm gonna get you to teach me about, um... <clears throat> Sword, 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 sword. Swords. I only heard the word swords. I agree, swords. 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 Sword! Girls, 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 sword, 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 sword. You two sword. You don't know how to sword. Get out of the circle, Annette. This is the, this is the cool sword sword girl circle now. Petra <laughs> know how to use a sword. Petra's really, really good at swords. I had her stop using them so she could be in a wyvern, but now that she's on it, she can use them all she wants. Nobles who are changing allegiance. Again and again. Yeah. I do not have understanding for that. How can you trust if treason comes with ease? How can you be calling yourself a noble? Petra gets it! I do not have understanding of the reasoning. Petra gets <laughs> it! <laughs> Swapping allegiances is not a noble act! You are douche hoses! For personal gain, Petra! Survival has more importance than that. Are they not knowing this? Kublis, this is not the time and place to talk about swords. Leave that for the bedroom. No, but man, well, I want to talk about it right here. There's no guys around. Come on, let's just talk about swords. Swords. I hear the next battle could be a big one. Is that true? I miss the old days when if someone got hurt, we'd rush them to the infirmary and make them well. But on the battlefield, there's not enough time to help. People die. Professor, don't be one of those. <sighs> I'll do what I can if you teach me about swords. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. The of oh my! Who were once our friends, it makes my heart heavy. If it was gonna come to this, maybe I should have avoided making friends with people from the Empire and the Alliance to begin with. <laughs> Such a precious cupcake. No, I don't think that's the right attitude, Annette. I just don't know, Professor. 
having a hard time with it. It did often seem strange to me at the academy that we were studying with all these people from all over the world. But I feel like I finally started to understand the real reason behind it. The more you get to know people from other places, the harder you'll try to avoid fighting wars with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get it, you get it. That doesn't mean it's never gonna happen, but you get you get the mentality behind trying to avoid it. Ow, my hands. Oh, Annette, don't ever die on me. You've magically hey, avoided gosh. death like twice or three times already. Just don't, just don't ever die on me. Ugh. Precious. Okay. Ah, note to self, don't power level in Maple Story for three hours straight. There's a lot of people hanging out. Oh, right. You, the orphan girl that I have no trust for. Yet another grand battle awaits. Many will lose their lives. All right. There's no way around it. Let's fight our hard to stay alive, please. Yes, <laughs> let's. We must both make it home in one piece, even considering those we are up against. Friends from a time now past. I won't hold back. Whew. What about you? Um, thank you for bringing me here. I've been given permission to take part in this next mission, too. I'll finally be able to avenge my brother. I swear. I'll take down that monster. Yeah, she's gonna try to take out Dimitri. I'm pretty confident of that now. I heard Edelgard is going to be leading her forces personally in the next yeah. battle. Seems pretty you reckless to, put to charge five bucks right on into that? this one. I'm not sure I like our chances. What do you think? For the record, I've never seen the outcome of this too, so don't uh, worry. As long as you're here, Leone, as long as you specifically are here, we'll be fine. Hey, how come you only ever flatter me in times like these? What am I supposed to make of that? It means that danger's around the corner, and so we have to live every day as if it was our last. I'll see you in my bedroom tonight. Anyway, we've come this far. <laughs> Let's just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Hey, Garland gets it. Get. Yes, random stranger, we will trust you, just like we trusted the girl that killed my own father. <laughs> Nothing's ever, ever happened wrong, bad, coming out of a situation like that. Catherine the girl sure was disguised as a previous student, okay? <laughs> this is just a random girl. Response from the Alliance side. For now, there are preparations to be made for the coming battle. Ah, <sighs> Gildog, Gildog, Gildog. Teach me about heavy armor. I'm getting the hang of this. Even if I never put it on, I just, I, I want, I want Gilbert to teach me every day for the rest of my life about how to wear it. <laughs> it's okay, she can't uh, kill Dimitri. His skin is too thick for a dagger to get in. And his skull is even denser. Really? Yes, really. Priest, what's your problem? <laughs> just no, run I'm by. Be, no, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be sure if, uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Dimitri falls like a Borderlands 2 psycho and then just starts being like, you can't kill me. I'm already dead tomorrow. <laughs> Leonie, why am I praising you now? Because this game needs more gay. It does. I would, I would actually be kind of okay if you could gay with everybody, mostly because I just really want you. Please let me have, let me have her. <laughs> and I, I look, I look back at my screenshots and I was reminded of this perfect, wonderful thing that made me fall in love with her in the first place. That's why I like being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. Yeah. Uh, that is. <laughs> Let me gay. Let's well, it's yeah. kind of worth <laughs> I like. I like that gay is a is a verb. Let me gay, Lysithia. <laughs> ah shit! I just realized now I have to restart. I have to reboot. The, restart the game again. I was uh. originally going to. Uh, I was gonna. I was all about right, to start. Sorry, right, uh, I'm. We're, we're we're not here to talk about Mabel's story. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. I was talking about Effie. Okay. The situation in the Alliance has changed oh, so much. It, it's like I, I, I haven't heard a word from sorry. my adopted father. Do you think he's forgotten about oh, me? Oh, right. You were, so, you were trying to hear word back from him, weren't you? I'm sure he's 
just, just, I'm, I, I'm sure he's just, it's, it's not the case, no. I'm not overly concerned about him. I'd actually be happier if he really did forget about me. Everything would be so much easier. No. Oh. Such, such a sorrowful person. <laughs> I want to get to know Marianne better. <laughs> in another run, in another life, I don't have time to now. Being Absolutely. golden deer, okay? Here you go. Have a... Speaking of golden deer, that's what I'm about to start my next run as. Have a pitcher plant. It's the only flower I have on me. Thank you. <laughs> it's, it's, I know it's a weird gift, but just, just take it, okay? Marianne Paralog win. When the game gives me a reason to go out and do three battles at one time, that's when. I have not forgotten about Marianne. I just don't have space for her in my active army. Oh, an arcane crystal. I think I needed one of those. Yeah, I needed two arcane crystals and two xanadil fruits. Do I have the things now? I have two xanados. I have two arcanes. Ah, gill dog, gill dog. Where are you? Gill dog, dog of gill. The dog with gills. I have the things for you. Mm, gill dog. G boss. Yes. Thank you very much. Good. More renown. Have pitcher plant gets given a pot with soil in it and a stick with a pick of goobless on it. What? I don't get it, but it's funny. One note. Garrick Mock is surrounded by the abundance of nature, but securing provisions during times of warring can still be difficult. This is different oh. from my land of home. It's rather different than Elmira. This place is quite different from Bridget. Yeah, I know it's Bridget. Come on. Yeah, it's Bridget. Her name is Petra, but you're close. <laughs> He's from Bridget. <laughs> oh God, if it makes you feel better, I get what you. I did get what you said, and I'm just gonna stop right there. Fire coordinator. Um. Who needs to chat now? Supports. Hey! Dee Dee Doo and Felix can talk together. Your bond with this person is very deep. To deepen this bond further, you'll have to wait till after the war ends. Man, I wonder what I'm gonna possibly do with myself when I have three hot slabs of man meat all come and knock and once the war is over. Dee Dee Doo, Felix, or Sylvain? <laughs> I mean, it's obviously going to be the one that everybody knows, but for now, let's just watch to do and Felix. Hey, wait. What is it? Are you sure you want to start this beef now? You are aware that every cut on my face is an attempt on my life, you little shit. You defended me in battle. Why? His Highness does not wish for our military strength to be depleted. The loss of your strength would be significant. You are a colossal idiot. One slip up and you would have died. You think you would have been happy about that? No, I do not. Then why protect me? I thought you were his mindless weapon, his sword and shield. I heard about your brother. He was at Dusker. He died to protect his highness. Ooh, that's some, that's some volatile ground you're stepping on, Dee Dee Doo. He did, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Are you repaying some kind of debt? I hope you're not going to praise his death. I hear enough of that from my old man. I will not praise it then. Instead, I will say I would have done the same in his position. Is it really so unnatural to put one's life on the line to protect a brother in arms? To hear a rabid dog call me a brother in arms. Your insults are merely an attempt to avoid addressing me as what I am. I am a man of Dusker, yet you were concerned for my life. Call him out! Concerned is a strong word. Your death would have been unpleasant, that's all. Coming from you, that is enough. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I just meant... Ugh, never mind. 
Okay, go ahead, protect me. But if you act like a fool and get yourself killed, I'll kill you. Felix, please hide your true feelings. <laughs> How can you kill me if I am already dead? I... you, you know what I meant. <laughs> Ah, oh, he's so flustered. <laughs> Didu puts everybody on the spot because he can't be shaken. It's so good. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful support. I like how Petra speaks awkwardly, but her writing is almost completely on point. Nice, nice consistency in game. Yeah, yeah, she has said, she has said that before. She knows how to read, write, and understand it. She just has trouble speaking it. Stonewalling so well. DDD's insane defense isn't just for gameplay. Exactly. There's a lot of uh, a lot of good um, narrative integration here with the way these guys work because like how their their personalities match up very well with like the way that they operate in the game. <laughs> ah, ooh, that's a bad start. What? Oh, uh, first level up on Claude was uh, two stat. Just lead with that. Don't don't just don't just give pained sounds out of nowhere with no context. <laughs> Sorry. I can finally kill her. Finally, I can avenge them. All right. Well, he's not he's not threatening my life anymore. He's threatening other people's lives who aren't here. He's, 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 he's slowly getting there. He's slowly getting there. You have my sincerest gratitude. His slowly starting to regain his have prevented sanity. me from being by his highness's side these five years. I am grateful that you have found him for me. I am once again in your debt. Whew, all right, what can you teach me? You can also teach me the heavy armors. Mm -hmm. Teach me to fist, Didu. Teach me to violently fist. <laughs> Wonderful. You have my circumstance. <laughs> um, you have my circumstance. Teach me, Didu. Do. Teach me. He's not able to make it. I didn't actually want to invite him to tea, but I would have done it. Are these that yours? Is not, that is <laughs> if I could kill Dimitri, I would. Unfortunately, that can't happen. <laughs> Do I have the renown for this yet? I have 2,000. I need 2,500. Ah, oh, so close. See you again soon. So close to maxing out the statue. If you, Poke God, if you want to do a more fleshed out quote, you can go ahead. Like, just d delete the old one when you're in. Or put them both in and I'll clean it up later. Oh, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Context, dude. You need, con I, I can't. I, I just I just had I just head rushed a commander like we're not watching your game We can't see what you're reacting to. We need to know if you're gonna talk about it And once again mm -hmm. double stat level up And there the there game, was context that time <laughs> the game does not like you Hmm. Um, okay, so I have four points left. There's a couple... So I, I didn't do the, uh, the choir yet. I should do that. Units can teach anything they have a natural strength in so long as uh, they are higher ranked than you. Knights and professors still teach the same things regardless. Yeah, they can teach you even if you're better than them. I know that much. So, supports. Who can work here? Uh, D -D -D could go with Dimitri, but he's... Dimitri can't do anything right now. I could do to do in... I could do to do in Annette. To do in Ingrid. To do in Flane. To do in Gildog. To do in Shamir, but it'll take some time for that. To do in Ingrid. To do in Annette. Either one of those. And Annette, uh, if... Yeah, let's push her up towards Grimmery yet. So, Annette and to do. Sorry. 
Singing is so much fun. Singing in tune with others proved quite difficult. Wonderful. And I got a B rank in faith. There's still more to learn. Noise. Noise. There is Catherine and Shamir, A+. Plus. You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was just on a mission. What's gotten into you? I'm sorry. I've been thinking about the last time we talked. About our paths diverging. I've been a little afraid since then. Afraid that you might quit the Knights. The terrible Thunder Catherine. Afraid? Shamir, if and everybody here would be afraid if you'd quit the Knights. It's not, it's not cool. Stay with us forever. I thought you weren't afraid of anything. <sighs> I kind of thought so too. I realized that I might actually lose you someday, and that's scarier than I expected. I've never felt this way about anyone other than Lady Rhea. You seem very passionate about Back this. off, Catherine. Nobody's allowed to be in lesbians with Shamir but me. I guess so. <laughs> I have many brothers and sisters in arms, but you're my only partner. I know you have my back, so I can focus on the battle in front of me. I see. Catherine, I have to tell you something. Shamir, don't betray me like this. <laughs> I lost my first partner. Which is why I can make no guarantees that this will last forever. But I want you to know, there's no one I would rather have at my side. I could never sever my bond with you. If there ever comes a day when our paths do diverge, know that I'll always be with you. Thank you. That one's good. That's good. I lost someone too. I thought we'd be together forever, but our lives went in different directions. Relationships are so fragile. Of course. But that's enough of that. I can't stand any more of your vulnerable side. <laughs> ah, sorry, partner. Hope I didn't worry you. I lost hold of myself there. No need to apologize. It's what partners are for. If you'd like, we can start planning our next move. Next move? What do you mean? We can wed if you're that worried about losing me. <laughs> I may tire of your company. No, Shamir, don't! <laughs> Where was this with me? You look a bit red. What's the matter, partner? That was just unexpected. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I, I need some fresh air. All right, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that went somewhere awesome at the end of it. <laughs> two stone cold, like just not, not not stone cold, just like two very stone walled strong lady people, like just just having having a moment of vulnerability together. It's like deep, deep friendship. That was nice. I, I strongly, thoroughly enjoyed that. <sighs> you betrayed by Shmir. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, Pokey God, I'm going to do one thing to that quote there, too, because you did the bad and you put my name on it again and context of where it came from. It's, don't do not do that. That's not the point. <laughs> it's not the point of the of the quote bot. <laughs> There, just that. That's all you need. I don't even like the fact that there's quotation marks on it. People keep putting quotation marks on it. You don't need quotation marks. But how, But then how do we know it's a quote? No quotations. <laughs> no quotations. <laughs> 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 hmm. Um, so I have how much time left? Three. I could train on three more random things. Or who has low uh nobody has low motivation right now, so I don't need to do anything there. Thus, let's just do some training. Pardon me. Yeah, you know it's a quote because it's a quote bot. <laughs> That's how you know it's a quote. Shamir, teach me to... Sure, upgrade me to C in Lances. No, yes, yes, do that, so that I get a skill out of it, maybe. I'm Night... getting the hang of this. Night Kneeler, now I have access to that, that's good. No. The 
The Great Bridge of Murden, the bridge, and Ferdy was there. We killed Ferdy, Professor. He used to be our friend. Do you remember those days? That's a re that's, I had I had to listen to that line one more time. That's a really well delivered emotional line right there. <laughs> that 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 gut punches you. <laughs> Murderer. No, I'm not a murderer. He threw himself in front of uh, the deuce fists. I don't feel bad anymore. Every time you, every time you try to make me feel bad, it has the opposite effect. Only Dorothea and Annette can make me feel bad about things. What about? I suppose. Where's Felix at? Felix can teach me to fist. Felix! Teach me about your crazy fisties! Fisties. Okay, instruction time. Ferdy could have stabbed himself for all I care, but you killed Lawrence, you monster. Lawrence showed up and he's like, I'm gonna be a douche hose! And then I said, okay, and so I stabbed him in the face. <laughs> It's exactly what happened. Doo doo! You've taken your spot back at the table. Yay. Doo is back in his rightful place. Um, let's set up goals. Group tasks. Leone and who can Leone support with? Not to do, unfortunately. Um, she's already maxed with Felix, but that would give crazy good gains for this. She could work with Bernie, who hates it. She could work with Marianne. There's no reason to think that would cause anything. And she could work with, uh, Seth, which is odd. Fuck it, going with Felix again. He stole Annette's chair, the bell end. Annette moved over there next to Felix, it's fine. <laughs> Didi Do has not passed his um his war master yet, so you have to focus on your weapon skills until you can get into that. Felix is on Fisties and Reason, that works well for him. Sylvain, <clears throat> just keep working on your magics. And that's on Reason and Authority, those work well since she's already passed the Dark Rider exam. Ingrid, yep. Flying and lances still works well for you. Bernie, don't care. Dorothea, don't care. Petra, now that you have passed your Wyvern Lord exam, you can get back to weapon skills. Swords and axes, girl. Leone, axes and heavy armor. Satisfying. Flame is at A plus in Faith already. Geez, she might be my first A, my first S rank. It's kind of a race between her and Shamir right now. Keep teaching you on authority too. Hanny's fine. Manuela's fine. Gildog. Yeah, Gildog's already passed Great Knight, so at this point he's kind of just learning for the sake of learning. Put you on heavy armor and axes, yeah. Catherine's fine, and Shamir learning authority works well for me. Okay. Well, the goals are good. Instruction time. Who still needs to pass? Um, that goes to Leone. Who needs more riding, I think? No, her riding's the only thing that's 100% there already. You need more axes and heavy armor. <clears throat> okay, so your heavy armor's at B, and your axes are only at C+. I've learned a lot. So maybe I can push your axes up over the brim. No problem. <laughs> Nothing to get excited about. Hey, just so you guys know, I'm switching over to push nope. to talk because uh, I'm having a snack. Sure. Appreciate it. Lance breaker. This will be useful. She knows. She knows a breaker move. <clears throat> I've learned a lot. And now she has a 50% chance of passing Great Knight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's getting there. Um, past that. 
Didi Doo still needs to pass his as well. So we'll teach him about how to fist, fist harder, Didi Doo. Fist harder. Fist. Harder, Didi Doo. <laughs> Show me what you learned in prison! <laughs> I have deepened my understanding. <laughs> Annette's passed, Petra's passed, Sylvain is passed, Felix passed, Blaine is passed, Gilbert's passed, Shamir's passed. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just like upping skills for the sake of them now and or maybe sending them towards a second master class for skills. So with that in mind, Let's teach Annette how to faith. Thanks for your time. I misclicked to authority, but that's okay. She likes authority. I learned a lot. Thanks for your time. <clears throat> Sylvain, I feel like could just learn how to do better at basically everything. Uh, if I give him a little bit more sword skill, he might at least be able to get lance breaker and I mean axe breaker, and then he's got an enemy that he can do well against. Or I could give him more reasons, <clears throat> more reason and more faith so that his magic goes up. And I actually think I kind of like those better. Wow. Hey. What? <clears throat> um. Could teach Gilbert, could teach Shamir. Shamir could use a bit of boosts in, let's say, riding. I don't know if riding is going to give any skills for being higher up, but I hope it will. Felix could know a bit more about how to do faith magic, since having access to another heal or two would be very handy. Ooh. Of course. Who is not? Jesus, Jesus Felix! <laughs> this could be useful. Maybe. How long have you secretly wanted to be a priest? <laughs> the <world's sustained> me. <laughs> so much faith. You just aced three tests in a row! <laughs> um and then Oh wait, yeah, I still have a session left with Felix, because he got so many perfects. And then I'll toss you one fisty. Quite intriguing. Felix's career path went from Dark Mage to Bishop. <laughs> kind of just like that. That's right. When Felix has done Mortal Savant, I can send him back to uh, Dark Bishop. So he's already got a second class lined up. Better idea. Have him get a transgender operation and make him a Gremory. <laughs> Felix the Gremory. You now that would be a sight to see. I think he'll be fine. <laughs> um, That's... Now that's fan art. What could I run Ingrid to second? Probably through Wyvern Lord, but then she'd she'd have to learn a bunch more axes to get through there. However, it is the one that she's like, I think, most suited to, because then she can still have access to her triangle attack. What could Petra go to second? I guess Petra is already pretty close to becoming a Falcon Knight. She just have to learn more lances. Or I could swap her back to being a Swordsmaster or an Assassin or something. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll start her on bows for a while. She doesn't hate bows. In fact, she's got a bunch of boosts to bows. So that would cover up her Assassining pretty well. <clears throat> you have... I have under you are giving me praise? I will get more soon. You have my thanks for your Alright, D rank. I work to grow. That happened pretty quick. So that's all the lessons done. Let us go ahead and begin the training. Professor, may I ask you something? Considering the current situation and the forces at our command, we will need to rely on mercenaries. However, they have no loyalty to territory or master. I cannot help but feel ill at ease about hiring cell swords. Motivate them by denying compensation if they revolt. Let's figure out a clear and suitable way to use them. And mercenary or not, some people will betray your trust. Clear and suitable way, yeah. Hmm, I see. <clears throat> Uh, 
That's right. And then if she knows how to use bows, I can still put her on a flyer. And she's a flying archer. That's that's good. That's good. <clears throat> Let's do this right. I'm glad for your help. We did some great work. All right, good, perfect. Got some Smith and Stones, thousand Gs. Everybody goes up in the skills. I think I've got the idea. What was I gonna do this week? I don't think I had a plan for this week. The quest did not give me another thing to do in the battles, so if I wanted to go out and do battles, it's like I got... I guess I could theoretically go out and do a rare monster sighting, but those just aren't... like, that didn't do anything for me last time. It was just sort of like a, hey, this is just a fucking grindy battle. The Taken Care of Business one will give me a new merchant, though, and that's kind of valuable. And that's another quest that I can do, and then I'll get some renown, and then I can do Marion's Paralog, and... Then next week I can do another exploration to raise up motivations... And take care of that fish and stuff. Alright, fine, I'll do a battle. I'll do so I'll do Marianne's Forgotten Hero thing, okay? Even though I have very little info on her character right now. We're gonna do taking care of business first. Do you make Sprite by with jump in the uh, loading screen? B button. <clears throat> I've been bashing that every time and it never worked on me. B button. If you do a battle, this might take up the rest of the stream. It'll also answer the question whether you can do just one or two battles and back out. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll just plow through these for the stream. It's fine. I started late. We can come back again. The next time I stream is gonna be Saturday, and that's also gotta be a shorter one because I have a, a massage at one. So this is this is good. It'll basically let us do two shorter streams for a month, or for a uh, chapter. Um. So who doesn't need to come to this? Dimitri does because I need to unequip him and set him out in the middle of nothing again. Um. Leone and Dedu need to wrap up their fortress knighting. So does Gilbert. Yeah, so I've got a bunch of units that I could kind of just set out in the middle of nowhere for this. But that means I have to bring Gilbert actively along. So with that in mind, perhaps I drop Kublis for a round, because I think she's quite a ways from, uh, from being able to master Swords Master. Yeah, she's got a lot left to go, so I'll just I'll just drop Kublis for this round. Bring along G Dog. Is Dimitri gonna be in his Great Lord class? I think he is, yes. He is right now. He's in Great Lord. <clears throat> You're in Fortress Knight with just a few left. Leone is in. Oh, fuck. You know what? Actually, um, before I do this, I'm going to back out. I hope it lets me go all the way back. Yes, because this is another day to attempt um, certifications. So I can get I can try certifications for the guys who are this close to mastering. So that once they master them in one battle, then I can flip them over. Hmm. Yeah, that'll be a good idea. So Didi Do is once again going to take a shot at this War Master. Since I have another cheap seal, come on, dude, it's a 50-50 shot. Flip of the coin, you failed it last time. Chance, chance, chance! 
I've done it. I stripped off the armor. It feels good. I passed. Don't ask me why I got another magic point for being a person that uses fists. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a thing that we all have to get used to. I have hobbies, all right? Get off my back. I my will. No, his fists themselves are magic. <laughs> Didi Doo's got magic fists. <laughs> Why do you keep getting magic? Stop it. <laughs> He's such a physical person that has 10 magic now. <laughs> He still doesn't have the, the skills to pass being a monk. <laughs> I mean, I could do it. He just doesn't have the skills for it. <laughs> we require mage DD to his true calling. <laughs> you know what I will not complain about is getting, uh, getting another f four speed. Since now he's got, for some reason, 18 speed. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I will absolutely take that. Hmm, something new. Good. Uh, certifications, who else can take stuff? Shamir, I think, is already... Yeah, she's got nothing else she could master. Catherine has nothing there. Gildog has already taken his. Manuela has nothing. Any boy's a warlock. Flane is a grimmery. <clears throat> Sedith has nothing. Leone. I'm gonna buy one more. I'm gonna buy one more because I want to throw her at that great knight. Oh, she's she's got a 50% chance now. Ah, uh, to Leone, we'll buy you a master seal. Bye. Certifications, Leone, Great Knight, bam, good. <clears throat> Cause if she if she's able to get this, I'd rather throw her into Great Knight than Fortress Knight. She's not able to get it. <laughs> so I'll have her keep Fortress Knighting for a little bit. You've gotta be kidding. 42 strength on Dedu, that's a lot of damage. He's, he's 37, but yeah. <laughs> He hurts. He hurts a lot. He has officially just barely passed Dimitri's uh, strength rating. <laughs> just, just barely. <clears throat> and Gilbert has already passed his great knight. Yeah, so we should be fine here. Now we can go out and do battle. Taking care of business every day. I don't know the rest of the song cause I suck. <laughs> I know the rest of the verse. I just I just I just wanted to commit to being terrible, you know, for the bit. <laughs> and did you do wear silver gauntlets? I don't know. I think I gave Silver Gauntlets to Felix, but he didn't have the skills necessary to wield them. Dee Dee Doo, meanwhile, has a solidly mean B rank, so that should be enough for Silver. I mean, Felix has B rank now too, but he didn't when we started him on this. So if I trade out his steals for Silver, yeah, he can use Silver. So for this battle... To the units, I'll unequip Kublis, Catherine, and Marianne. Because actually, I really want to see Kublis' support with Catherine, but even more than that, I want to see Dimitri's support with Catherine. Because he could he could go to A plus with Catherine. There is some history there. So, Dimitri, you're gonna pick up Catherine for this. <clears throat> I'm still not taking Ingrid either. I have too many people on my team now. I mean, I guess it's because I'm taking Gilbert for this one. 
which means I would normally take Kublis, but I've also got Ingrid hanging out, and I think I have officially crossed over the, the, the plane into having too many units. I have 11 active ones that I want to maintain. Oh well. So Gilbert's fine, Flane is fine, Felix is okay, Sylvain is good, and Nett's got the Katusha staff and a crusher. Wait, I got that magic staff, didn't I? Wait, I'm not done with uh, these yet. Um, Ingrid could work with somebody. Who could Ingrid support with? Ingrid has another support with Dee Dee so let's uh, let's throw her at him. And with the units that I have, Marianne can support with Dimitri, Sylvain, Leone, and Hanneman. I'll throw her at Sylvain, since uh, I don't think those two are ever going to meet again after this playthrough. Okay, so that's good. <clears throat> What's the deal here? Small map, all I have to do is uh, take these guys out. It's a lot of Swords Masters, but it's also just a lot of level 30s, and I'm already 33 and 34 and shit, so this is gonna be just grinding. Exactly what I don't want. However, at this point, all of the people who aren't in my active party are way too low level to be used. With a 21, and a 34, and a 24, and a 23, and an 18. So, I don't have an option here. I mean, I could baby maybe one or two of them, but not five. Though, if I can give any kills to them whatsoever, that's less grinding. Dorothea knows how to magic, so if I drop one more unit for that. Flane, I want to keep around as a solid healer. Felix doesn't actually need to be here for any reason right now, so we can drop him for Dorothea. <clears throat> Marianne's here is a, in a support role. I'm not going to use Sedith, because I actually do want to actively use Sedith in a future run. And Bernadette is obviously going to be my archer when I go to the Black Eagles, so she'll also get use later. And Manuel is just really weird. I don't know. She, she seems like she... Like, her best bet would be to be on either just a priest or be a Pegasus Knight with a Leaven Sword. She has flying and swords and faith, and none of those really go together in any way. <laughs> so she's an interesting character, but I don't know how much potential she has as really, like, a viable unit. Unless, obviously, you can push her into stuff that she doesn't have specific growths in. It's just odd growths to go together. hot in this room. She definitely does not want to be a Gremory because she has like no... she has a, a negative in reason. So I, th I think she could honestly thrive pretty well as a, as a Pegasus Knight. Since the swords and flying both work well for that, and if she's got a high magic, so well, a high-ish magic stat, then she could use eleven sword. That's true. You could also try to do an holy knight, considering you've already got a good amount of points in riding. That's true, actually. Yes, I don't have a holy knight uh, pegged out yet, so that's another good thing that she could do. But for that, I'd have to give her a lance. And using a lance against high-level enemies is much trickier since they don't tend to take any damage whatsoever. If I did that, I'd have to bring a net along so that she could rally up her strength.
or I give her a really powerful uh, uh, battalion. Dimitri has 31 defense. Let me check what's out here. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. So nobody really has higher than 40. That means I could take the line of Lancers off of him and put it onto Manuela instead. If I wanted to use her for some kills here. Which I honestly kind of do. And I think Petra's a fair unit to drop in favor of that. Although that would get rid of all of my flyers. Having Sylvain as a dance is nice if I'm doing babying. I probably don't need Shamir, honestly. Although she'd be good for just like some wrong, long range poking. I don't know if either one of them is capable of attacking anybody without straight up killing. Because <laughs> they're both very, very strong. But I'd rather drop Petra since she's a level above. So let's go like that. Then I'll bring along Manuela. Do some battalion rework. Although Manuela only has a... D in authority. So she can't even use much. Somebody that gives her physical attack and ideally some protection, too. So the Kingdom Archers on Sylvain is an option. Impregnable Wall is an option that gives her more protection than physical attack. I'd rather go for the physical attack that she can hurt somebody. Though the Impregnable Wall, I think by doing that I get experience anyways. No, because it's not attacking somebody, so it's not actually experience, it's just class experience. I'll give her the Kingdom Archers. Dorothea is really not able to use a goddamn thing. So I'll give her the, um... Nobody gives her magic attack, just all Myra mercenaries, I guess. And Hand Dog... And take Petra's Saros Pegasus Co. Okay, that's all set up now. Let's go through the inventories. Dimitri doesn't need all that much. The Dew is just gonna stand there and take hits. So is Gilbert. The, yeah, th those three. Well, the Dew and Gilbert aren't gonna be useful for much because they're gonna max out their classes and then fall back, or probably continue to stand there and take hits. I don't know. Leonie's out here to work on her heavy armor skills, so she'll probably also just take hits, since I think that gives her heavy armor skills. So I got four units that are just going to wade into the enemy and stand there. You can trade in your um, knowledge gem now for a shield instead. Take Dimitri's silver. He's not going to need it here. you're gonna get much out of the knowledge gem either because you're not using an iron axe so trade that in for some kind of a small shield just a leather one that's fine <clears throat> Dorothea could use some kind of a physical weapon even though she's mostly magic right now she doesn't have much just a fire and thunder so we'll give her a sword since I think she's half decent at that Manuela's got a steel sword. We'll give her... If I, do I happen to have 11 kicking around? I do. But no, not swords. If you're working a Holy Knight, you need to use a lance. I'll give you one of my javelins. And a horse slayer, since you apparently can use those. Hand Dog is fine with his Ragnarok for some reason that he knows because he's terrifying. And I think that's okay now. Last check on the map. Yeah, this, this should be pretty easy if I set up my uh, my wall units in front. I've got a bunch of them, so we'll move Gil, Gildog over here. Dudu, uh, Dimitri, actually, 
I'll have Dimitri, I think, wander all the way up the right side, just on his own. Gildog can come stand over here. Dedu can stand here. And then the backup for the center is going to be uh, Leone. Let's make sure that most of the units are set up properly here. Does Manuela have a ranged? Yeah, she has a javelin. So all of my units are capable of ranged combat, which is going to make it easier for them to do some level ups. Got Sylvain on Manuela since she's the one that's most likely going to need two, but I'll also move him over here just in case. Manuela could use... Sorry, not Manuela. Sylvain, I think, could use the movement ring right here since he's going to be doing a lot of random moving to speed people up. And Manuela could use... Magic Staff, Healing Staff, Crit Ring, Speed Ring, Evasion Ring, Accuracy Ring. Nothing that really increases how much damage she does. Ooh, but Experience Gems would be absolutely be good on some of these guys. I'll throw a Knowledge Gem onto her since she's using weird stuff right now. Dorothea could use the Experience Gem. And Hand Dog... This is might for magical attacks. I'm actually gonna give, since Dorothy is so low level, she'll probably get basically a level's worth out of everybody anyways, so I'll give her a magic staff instead. Both her and Hanneman can take magic staffs. Abilities. You've got your minus three. Lance Breaker is on you. Dimitri, what did you... Pomp and Circumstance. I want to know what this is. Grants luck and charm plus four. That's not a bad skill. That's like eight to your overall total, but it's mostly just in crit avoidance and increasing damage for gambits. Situationally good, but not overall. I don't believe enemy thieves can steal, but oh god, if they could, life would be so painful. They have the ability to, they just didn't. Manuela seems like she'd be the same as the Queen of Crimea. Because she has swords, healing, and flying. That's true, but you can't use healing on a uh, Pegasus Knight in this game, which is frustrating. I'm pretty sure there would be a magic lance, just because there's magic everything else. Lance Breaker, seal movement, seal defense. Yep, 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 you're all good, you're all good. DD is fine. Leone, Desperation, Axe, Prowess, Aegis, Weight, Minus 3, Dexterity. I'd like to give you a Breaker, since Breakers are nice to have. Oh, you have Armored Blow! You ha Leone has too many abilities now. Just too many. I mean, it's, nor it's not even like half of Dimitri's, but all of hers are good. <laughs> That's the problem. Swordbreaker, Lancebreaker, Hanneman doesn't have enough to cover himself. Dorothea has, like, none. Rally Charm, Authority, and Dexterity. Dexterity is going to be good for hitting people, so you can drop your... Um, drop Sword Prowess, yeah. Or, rather, take Sword Prowess, but drop Axe Breaker. Okay, let's drop a save and see if I can make this work. See if I can do some babying. My orders. You have a 40 and I have 39 protection. You have 44 protection. Leonie, what are you using? Why do you have 44 protection? Leonie. Oh, because you have a silver shield. I was like, when did you get higher than the king? Who doesn't have a battalion on him? Whoops, I forgot to do that too. <laughs> yeah, that would explain a lot. It's fine. He'll get up to 43 by just standing in place and waiting. Prepared. As for the silver gauntlets, they appear to look like, um... Oh, okay, it doesn't turn until I exit. Silver Gauntlet looks like that, like a little 
compact Wolverine claw. Hoorah. I mean, I'm gonna unequip him because I just want him to stand there and take hits. But that's what be. You guys all have 40 attack. Yeah, so nobody's nobody's gonna be able to hurt me whatsoever. I'll come stand here so that I can attract as many hits as, as from as many directions as possible. Make sure I unequip myself. And we're good. Welcome, to Dimitri. Life. Meanwhile, just come attract as many hits as possible. Same deal. Oh, but wait, you, you, I wanted to take hits and then Manuela to actually stand there. So this time you're not just going to run in guns blazing and go wild with it. I see that you've traded out the black armor for white. That's good. By the way, um, I haven't talked to her about it yet, but I do want to get a Dimitri emo done. It's not going to be something that most people can use because I, it's going to go into my $10 slot, but it's going to be a Dimitri re and I'm going to be real happy with it. Dimitri's great lord outfit. It's it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice looking. Give give me a weapon. Put something in my hands, please. I don't know what to do with them otherwise. It feels so awkward. Like if you ditch, I'm gonna say this. If you ditch the eye patch, Dimitri would kind of look like um like modern Anduin from in WoW. I'm just gonna forget you said that since that's so different <laughs> from what he. <laughs> It's like the complete opposite of a person from that. For, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly referring to the hair. Yeah, yeah. Dimitri's chest plate kind of looks like the Kingdom Hearts symbol. I don't know, Kingdom Hearts. Maybe I'll take your word for it. Quip. Okay, everybody just kind of hang out here. Rusted sword turns into an iron sword. So sure, send it back. More fighting. Let's clean up. Oh wait, somebody has range on me here. Oh, there's an archer. I wasn't paying attention to you. That's a little on the risky side. I might have to send somebody in to take him out. My orders? What's the plan? My turn? Good thing Hanneman just has extra range. <laughs> and Hanneman also has heal, recover, and Nosferatu, so I could have him just act as a healer and get experience. So that's a valid thing for him. Dorothea, meanwhile, does not know holy magic. So that'd be something to have her focus on if I want to get her some cheap experience. I owe you. Got an Iron Axe Plus, that's good. Onward. There's no stopping me. Sure, just use holy magic. Use holy yeah. magic everywhere. It's free experience. Dance for you. He's already hard with bleached hair and a thousand percent more rage. Both real things. Save me. I don't think Leone can support what to do, so there's not much point in putting her there. Though if it's going to attract the archer closer, actually standing her farther back might be good. And the turn. You're gonna come for me. You're gonna dink. Is that all? <laughs> You're gonna hit again. You're gonna dink. Get out of my face, Swordsmaster. Next try. So is me or does Dudu look even badasser with a Pegasus Knight at his side? Just behind I him. The, I think it's the camera. <laughs> Too slow. Pathetic. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I, I like I like Ingrid hanging out, hanging out behind yeah, him. Yeah, I think it's just the camera. <gasps> the critical ding. <laughs> <Weak. laughs> yeah. Get out of Get that weak sauce out of my face. Mastered skills. I must admit, I did well. Oh, I think <laughs> I think Pavis. You know, is... you know what the kind, you know what the critical thing always reminds me of? What? Uh, 
that one punch Yasha attempts at Deus in Asura's Wrath. I, uh, eh, I don't remember much about that either, but maybe. The animated scene where he tries to punch him and then... Dude, we no, I don't I don't remember specific scenes from that game. <laughs> ah. Um I've I've never played it. I only watch John play, and when you're watching somebody else play it, it's not like it's not as It's uh, not as remem it's not as memorable, yeah. It's not as visceral. Pavisa is the sister of Aegis from other games. Yes, that's what I was waiting for. So Armored Knight gives you armored blow. Pavise is like, I'm just gonna have the damage of physical weapons sometimes. <laughs> Which is also very nice to have. God, I love my army of armor people! We can just hold like three bridges and they can do nothing!